Brooklyn's Williamsburg is the hipster headquarters of the universe. It's also the trendiest neighborhood in New York City and home to some 130,000 folks and the Artist and Fleas Market right here on North 7th. We're about to take you inside to meet the co-owners of this market and they'll share some inside knowledge on how you can start a flea market with very own. All right, I'm gonna ask you to, to introduce each other instead of telling us who you are. So introduce the man sitting to your side. This is Ronan Lamar, he is the co-founder of Artists and Amy Abrams, the uh, head honcho, strategic mind of Artists and So, and, my and your partner and in the flea market in life. <laughs> so give us a little bit about your history here in Brooklyn. So we started Artists and Fleas in 2003, December of 2003. Williamsburg was a little bit of a different place, but it was a hip, cool, creative place like it is now. And the idea was to create a place where artists, designers, vintage collectors, anyone with sort of a, a talent or an idea about a talent would have an opportunity to show and sell and meet their market and connect with like-minded people. So what gave you the idea to start a market? Because most people want to vend and show the jewelry that they make, the scarf that they knitted, but you went beyond that and grouped those folks together to make something like this. Generally when we would travel, we would always go to markets and meet all sorts of artists and creative people and it would always have like the flavor of the country we were visiting. And for us, we were living in New York and we felt like there was so much talent and so much of an opportunity to create something that had that kind of feeling and vibe and experience for the people who would come and visit. And so that is why we really looked to create something that we had experienced elsewhere. Um, but I would say that the real truth is, is that we actually are not that talented in terms of making cool things, but we definitely like cool things. All right, so what are five concrete steps that someone should undertake right now if they fancy themselves flea market impresarios? I think um, some of the initial steps I would say is to establish yourself as a business because I think you want to limit your liability and that's really important in dealing with a lot of people. Um, next, I think you want to get insurance because I think that that's critical and really important. Um, all of that is being predicated on the fact that you should have some type of name that is memorable and also probably descriptive or something that people will know who and you are. And trademarked. Yeah, and trademarked. Trademark the name. It's also very important because yeah. you, you know, if you're going to invest in all this and your time and your energy, you want to make sure that it's protected. Um, and then I think you, it's totally critical to have enough money and to be well capitalized. And in doing that, I would hire an accountant to help you really understand where the money's going to come from, how the money's going to go out, and um, those would be my initial steps. Do you have some more steps? One other thing, I would say actually write down what you think this is and what it's not. Sort of mm -hmm. decide what you are and what you're not. You know, yeah. have a point of view. Whether you stick to it or not, you'll see, but yeah. at least go in with, with, presumably if you've gotten this far, you've said, I want to do this, why, right? What do you want it to be? Imagine it and give it some concrete shape. And then again, in the flea market business, their success is your success, yeah, but their business is not your business. Absolutely. But I really, yeah, I really think that, you know, you, ha it's, you have to remember that it's a symbiotic relationship. Mm -hmm. They need you, but you need them. And you should you know, treat people in a respectful way and they should be respectful to you. Like every, everybody should be realizing what they get out of the deal and realizing that together they create something really awesome. Some real world things you need to know if you want to start a flea market. Come up with a catchy name, something that folks can remember and build a brand. Get your paperwork in order. Meet with the IRS, the Small Business Association, and make sure that you're incorporated. Find a space with great foot traffic and make sure that the rent's not too high so you can start to make a profit. Create a budget and make sure to include all of the reasonable expenses and try your best to stick to it. Print your business cards and start to recruit some vendors. Create a layout for your vendors that maximizes your space and your profits. You may want to consider charging the shoppers. Advertise! 
Tell everyone you know, get it out in your social networks, and make sure your business is on everyone's lips. Startup costs could range anywhere from five to fifty thousand dollars. You may want to consider hiring security guards, and most importantly, get insurance. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this helpful. Go out there and start your business. See you next time.